Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I wanted to talk about something that I think is just insane, like seriously. Um, if you don't know yet, Rich from Evitate USA did a hilarious video on this. Um, I'll have the link in the description if I don't forget, hopefully. Anyways, uh, this is the Mad Cats Mojo, as you can probably tell from the title. But anyways, what the hell? Okay. First, I feel like I should read you the specs for this thing, just to justify for me saying that it's just insane. Um, anyways, I'm paraphrasing this here, but the Mojo is equipped with NVIDIA's, actually I'm not paraphrasing at all, but uh, the Mojo is equipped with NVIDIA's 1.8 GHz Tegra 4 processor. Don't get me wrong, I know nothing about what's going on on mobile gaming or mobile hardware or anything like that. But Tegra 4, I, I'm pretty sure that's powerful because I know that uh, the Ouya has a Tegra 3 and a shittier Tegra 3 anyways. So this is baby, basically like an enhanced Ouya. And I don't know what the hell they're trying to do here because the Ouya failed miserably and now Mad Cats has just fucking lost their shit and now they're doing this. Anyways, 1.8 GHz Tegra 4 processor, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of storage with also with micro SD card support, uh, HDMI out, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, and Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Um, yeah, and it also uses MadCat's GameSmart platform, which lets you use a lot of Bluetooth um, devices. Which, yeah, I guess it's cool. Awesome. The controller that they have for it looks half decent. Um, it doesn't look terrible. It looks a lot more friendly than the um, uh, Valve's new controller, but, you know, I never know. Actually, I'm really interested in that controller, and I may buy it. Depending on what the price is, um, I may buy it. But anyways... Here's the insane part. It's launching for $250. That is insane. It's also launching on uh, December 10th. But still, what the heck. Ouya was... It could do the same thing that this is doing. Pretty much. I mean, Android games, you don't need insanely good hardware. Uh, so the Ouya could run, I don't know, fucking Angry Birds, and it'll be just fine. But... You don't need much more, especially with this thing costing 250 bucks. You do not need that for Android games as of right now. Maybe there are some Android games like Infinity Blade that will, I don't know, benefit from this. I don't even know if Infinity Blade is actually Android, but you get the point. That's that's insane. The Ouya does everything this does just as good, except for on some games, obviously that are graphics hogs and uh, hardware hogs, should I say. I don't know why you'd sell something like this. If they can make this 150 to a hundred dollars, alright, sure. But this price is just insane. Um, and apparently you can use this with Google Play and Amazon's App Store. I don't know what they're doing with this. Honestly, I don't know who the market for this is. Everybody saw that the Ouya failed miserably. And I don't know why they're doing this. This is just insane. Um, but again, I know the hardware is slightly better, but that doesn't justify it being this price. This isn't nearly that much better than the Ouya to be charging 250 bucks for it. I know I didn't really get into my point that much in this video, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.